This video is brought to you by Alienware, featuring Intel Core i7 processors. Start gaming. What's up guys, Jack here, and today I'm going to share with you some tips and tricks on how to warm up for a big game of CSGO, or maybe you're just playing with your mates and want to impress them. And also, this video is sponsored by Alienware Laptops. If you'd like to know more about those, click on the link in the description below. So warming up before you jump into a game of CS can be very important. Of course, you might not be bothered about warming up and might just want to hop straight into a game, and that's perfectly fine. But some people might want to get their aim ready before they risk their hard-earned rank, because ranks are super important. Maybe it's not warming up that you want though, but instead you might want to just try and get your aim a bit better. Well, whatever your motivation, hopefully this video can help. There are quite a few ways and means of improving your aim and warming up at the same time. So I'm going to walk you through some of them right now. And these techniques really help me to warm up and just get ready for a game. Firstly, you could just hop into some deathmatch. It's the simplest way to get you into CSGO mode, but it does have its drawbacks as well. For your aim, it can be very good. It gets your muscle memory going and forces you to aim at multiple enemies at once on more than one occasion. You can also work on your situational awareness and positioning. You'll be playing on maps that you'll more than likely be playing on in games as well, so you're going to be engaging enemies at angles that you would in a normal game. The downside is that in reality, you've got no fear in deathmatch. And what I mean by this is that you know if you die, you're just going to respawn, respawn, respawn. But in an actual game, you know that if you die, you're going to be done. And depending on your position, it could cost your team that round. It's not to be understated how much of a different mental approach that is, even if you don't realise it subconsciously. As well as that, Deathmatch is constant action and fast gameplay, but of course, actual games aren't really anything like that and a lot slower. And that means that whilst you're practising your aim on 100 enemies and getting 100 kills, that's a bit different to watching an angle for 30 seconds and not losing your concentration. The next technique is an artificial aim map called, wait for it, Training Aim CSGO pretty catchy. You can download the map by going into the workshop and adding it to your custom maps. This is a different experience entirely, but one that you can customise as much as you want. You select a weapon from the side and then you set up the options that you want to practice with, setting the interval time, how many targets you want to hit and also the size of the targets. Once you're done with that, you can select a platform from 1 to 4, with 4 being the furthest away and then you're good to start. It's pretty simple, you hit the targets when they come up and then you do it all again and again. A lot of pro players like to use this for a certain amount of time during the day to keep their aim on point. What this also helps with is not just lateral aiming but also vertical aiming, constantly forcing you to aim down and up as well. Once again though, there are disadvantages. It's clearly not an active environment and you've got large targets that don't shoot back, so in an actual game, that's not going to be the case. The third method is sort of a mix between the first two and puts you on a small map called AK-47 map with bots that don't shoot back. Firstly, once again, you'll need to find the map. It's called AK-47 Map CSGO in the workshop and download it. Load it in deathmatch mode with harmless bots. That can be changed though if you want, but for the purposes of this, the bots aren't going to be shooting back. Load into the map and then run a config file that sorts all of the settings out for you, including infinite ammo. I will put the commands for this file in the description below if you want to check it out. Just head into your CSGO folder and then the CFG folder and create a CFG file called whatever you want. Paste in the commands and then type exec and your config name in the console. All you then need to do is buy the weapon you want to use using the buy menu and add in the amount of bots that you want in the game on the enemy team. In the console, type either bot underscore add underscore T or bot underscore add underscore CT, depending on the team that you're on. All you do then is pop some heads for as long as you want. The bots will keep spawning and you'll keep killing them. Practice burst firing, practice tap firing and you can even practice spray control as well. Having infinite ammo means that you don't have to bother about reloading, but if you want to practice spray control it's probably best to turn that off. Or you could try the recall master map that's available in the workshop. Personally, this is one of my favourite ways to practice and warm up in CSGO. Sure, maybe I don't use it as much now that I'm only playing CSGO casually, but when I was playing CS 1.6 and Source regularly in competitive teams and at LANs, I would practice like this all the time. It really does help with your aiming and warming up. Remember, the enemies aren't going to shoot back unless you want them to, but at least you're shooting at actual player models. In conclusion, any form of aim practice has its ups and downs and pros and cons. In reality, it's probably best to do a combination of them all regularly, but unless you're playing CSGO seriously, maybe even in a team, then that probably isn't possible. 
Doing one method every now and again though to help improve your aim, well that's a little bit more achievable and realistic. Give it a go, see how you get on and see if it improves your game. And that's all for today guys, as always thank you very much for watching, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.